Hey there, history buffs and lovers of the bizarre. Welcome to our countdown of 20 unique, controversial, and fascinating facts about World War I, a conflict so world-altering it earned the grim nickname, The Great War. Over the next 20 minutes, we'll be diving deep into the trenches, exploring the battlefields, and uncovering the forgotten stories that shaped the 20th century. From acts of incredible humanity amidst unimaginable brutality, to technological advancements that would change the face of warfare forever, World War I was a period of intense change and upheaval. We'll examine the events that shocked the world, the innovations that redefined combat, and the ripple effects that continue to shape our present. So buckle up because we're about to embark on a wild ride through history. And trust me, you won't want to miss what we have in store, especially the final fact on our list. It's a real mind blower. Stay tuned. Our journey begins with a glimmer of humanity in the darkness of war, the Christmas truce of 1914. Imagine, if you will, it's Christmas Eve and Europe is a frozen battlefield. Millions are locked in a brutal conflict, facing unimaginable horrors. Yet on this holy night, something extraordinary happened. Along the Western Front, soldiers on both sides laid down their arms. German and British troops emerged from their trenches, not to fight, but to share a fleeting moment of peace and camaraderie. Can you picture it? Enemies singing Christmas carols together, sharing gifts of cigarettes and plum puddings, even playing a friendly game of football in the no man's land that had been a killing field just hours before. This spontaneous act of humanity, defying the orders of their superiors and the brutality surrounding them, stands as a testament to the enduring human spirit reminding us that even in the depths of war, hope for peace and compassion can flicker brightly. From a moment of heartwarming humanity, we shift gears to a darker chapter of World War I, the introduction of chemical weapons, a chilling example of how science was used to amplify the horrors of war. Picture this. The year is 1915, and the battlefield is at a stalemate. Suddenly, a greenish-yellow cloud drifts across the trenches, bringing with it a terrifying new weapon, chlorine gas. The effects are immediate and devastating. Soldiers choke, gasping for air, their lungs burning as they struggle to survive. This marked a terrifying turning point in warfare. No longer were battles fought solely with bullets and bombs. Now an invisible enemy, a silent killer, stalked the trenches, leaving behind a trail of agonizing death and lingering psychological scars. The use of chemical weapons like chlorine and later, the even more lethal mustard gas was a stark reminder of the brutal, indiscriminate nature of modern warfare. And it left a dark stain on the collective memory of the war, forever changing the way we perceive the horrors that humanity can inflict upon itself. Amidst tanks and airplanes, animals played a vital role in World War I, Horses, donkeys, mules, and pigeons were instrumental in the war effort. Millions of animals served, transporting supplies, carrying messages, and providing companionship. They faced horrific conditions, enemy fire, disease, and exhaustion. Horses were crucial for transporting troops, artillery, and supplies. Over 8 million horses died during World War I. Their loss was deeply felt by soldiers who relied on them as companions. Dogs sniffed out explosives, carried messages, and comforted wounded soldiers. Pigeons carried vital messages across enemy lines, crucial for intelligence. These animals played a crucial role in shaping World War I. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand on June 28, 1914, stands as a stark reminder. Franz Ferdinand and his wife Sophie were visiting Sarajevo when their motorcade took a fateful wrong turn. This placed them directly in the path of Gavrilo Princip, a young Serbian nationalist. Princip seized the opportunity, firing two shots that would reverberate across the world. The assassination sent shockwaves through Europe, triggering alliances and diplomatic failures. It's a chilling reminder of how fragile peace can be, igniting global conflict. When we think of World War I, the image of trench warfare often dominates our imagination. Miles of muddy, rat-infested ditches, a desolate no-man's land in between. This brutal form of warfare, characterized by its static front lines and horrific living conditions, came to define the Western Front, 
The trenches were more than just fighting positions. They were cramped, unsanitary, and psychologically draining. Imagine spending months in these trenches, constantly exposed to the elements, enemy fire, and disease. The trenches were a breeding ground for rats, lice, and trench foot. The constant shelling and sniper fire created an atmosphere of intense fear and uncertainty. The psychological impact of trench warfare was profound. Soldiers witnessed unimaginable horrors and endured prolonged periods of stress and boredom. Shell shock, now known as PTSD, left many veterans with lasting emotional scars. The trenches became a symbol of the futility and brutality of war. The impact of trench warfare extended far beyond the battlefield, shaping military strategy and the human psyche. It's a reminder of the devastating consequences of industrialized warfare and the enduring human cost of conflict. The trenches stand as a somber testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the profound impact of war. World War I was a conflict on a scale never seen before, demanding the mobilization of entire nations. With millions of men shipped off to the front lines, a massive gap appeared in the workforce. And guess who stepped in to fill those shoes, often for the very first time? That's right, women. It wasn't just about keeping factories humming either. Women took on roles traditionally considered men's work, from driving buses and operating machinery to farming and working as police officers. Can you imagine the societal upheaval? Remember, this was a time when women couldn't even vote in many countries. This wartime necessity challenged long-held gender roles and expectations. Women proved their competence and resilience, forever altering perceptions of their capabilities. The war effort provided a stage for women to demonstrate their strength and determination, paving the way for future generations to fight for equality. But it wasn't all sunshine and roses. Women faced discrimination, lower wages than their male counterparts and societal pressure to return to domesticity after the war. Still, their contributions during World War I were undeniable, proving that they were not just capable but essential to the war effort. Okay, picture this. It's 1915 and the war is in full swing. The United States is desperately trying to stay neutral, but then, BAM! The unthinkable happens. A German U-boat torpedoes the Lusitania, a British ocean liner off the coast of Ireland. And just like that, the world watches in horror as this luxurious symbol of modern travel sinks beneath the waves in a mere 18 minutes. But here's where it gets really interesting. The Lusitania wasn't just carrying innocent civilians. It was also secretly transporting war materials for the Allies. Germany, already engaged in unrestricted submarine warfare, justified the attack by claiming the ship was a legitimate military target. The sinking of the Lusitania sparked international outrage and became a pivotal moment in the war. The loss of 1,198 lives, including 128 Americans, sent shockwaves through the United States, fueling public opinion against Germany. Although not the sole reason for America's eventual entry into the war two years later, the Lusitania's sinking played a significant role in turning the tide of public opinion. The incident highlighted the brutality of modern warfare, the complex moral dilemmas of neutrality, and the deadly potential of submarine warfare. It was a stark reminder that even in the vastness of the ocean, nowhere was truly safe from the reach of war. All right, let's talk about the power of persuasion, or rather propaganda. During World War I, information itself became a weapon and both sides were locked in a fierce battle for hearts and minds. It wasn't enough to just fight on the battlefields. Governments realized they needed to win over their citizens, convince them that the cause was just, and the enemy utterly monstrous. Propaganda posters, often featuring bold colors, simplified imagery, and emotionally charged language, were plastered everywhere. These posters demonized the enemy glorified one's own soldiers, and urged citizens to contribute to the war effort through enlistment, rationing, or buying war bonds. Think Uncle Sam pointing directly at you, saying, I want you. But it wasn't just posters. Governments censored news, spread rumors, and even used film and literature to shape public perception. They understood the power of storytelling, of creating narratives that instilled patriotism, fear, and even hatred, and it worked. Propaganda played a significant role in mobilizing populations, silencing dissent, and ultimately, prolonging the war. 
It's a chilling reminder that truth is often the first casualty in conflict and that even in our modern world, we must remain critical consumers of information, questioning what we see and hear, especially in times of crisis. All right, let's talk about the Treaty of Versailles, the treaty to end all treaties. Just kidding, it didn't exactly work out that way. Signed in 1919, this treaty officially ended World War I. Article 231, the infamous War Guilt Clause, forced Germany to accept full responsibility. Imagine being Germany, your economy in shambles, and now it's all your fault? The treaty imposed heavy reparations, crippling Germany's economy. Many argue the treaty's harsh terms contributed to the rise of nationalism and extremism. The Treaty of Versailles stands as a cautionary tale about the dangers of seeking revenge. World War I wasn't just fought in Europe. It was a global conflict. Millions of troops came from European colonies, often promised freedom. Imagine being a soldier from Senegal, fighting for a colonizer. They faced war horrors and discrimination. Their stories often go untold despite their bravery. Their sacrifices fueled independence movements, reshaping empires. World War I didn't just transform the political map, it also left an indelible mark on the cultural landscape. The Lost Generation, writers like Hemingway, Fitzgerald, and Remarque, captured the disillusionment and trauma of a generation. Their works reflect the profound sense of loss and uncertainty that pervaded the post-war world. The art and literature of this period serve as a powerful reminder of the human cost of conflict. World War I was a war defined by trenches, a stalemate where both sides were locked in this brutal, muddy standoff. And then came along the tank, a technological innovation that promised to break this deadlock. I mean, imagine you're a soldier stuck in a trench for months and suddenly this metal behemoth, spitting fire and crawling over barbed wire, appears. The first tanks were clunky, unreliable, and prone to breakdowns. But their impact was undeniable. They could withstand machine gun fire, cross trenches, and demoralize the enemy. They were a powerful symbol of industrialized warfare, a sign that technology was changing the face of battle. The use of tanks in World War I marked a turning point in military history. It wasn't just about their effectiveness, which was still being figured out, but the sheer psychological impact they had. Here was a weapon unlike anything anyone had ever seen. And while tanks didn't single-handedly win the war, they paved the way for the tank warfare that would come to dominate later conflicts. It's hard to imagine modern warfare without thinking of tanks, a legacy born in the trenches of World War I. As if the horrors of World War I weren't enough, another tragedy unfolded alongside it, the Spanish flu pandemic of 1918. This wasn't just any flu, it was a global catastrophe that infected an estimated 500 million people, about a third of the world's population at the time. What's particularly chilling about the Spanish flu is how quickly and efficiently it spread, often striking down young, healthy adults in their prime. Imagine the fear and uncertainty as this invisible enemy swept across the globe, leaving a trail of death and devastation in its wake. And here's the thing, the war itself likely played a role in the pandemic's severity. The mass movement of troops in wartime conditions created a perfect breeding ground for the virus to spread. It's a grim reminder that the consequences of war extend far beyond the battlefield. The Spanish flu pandemic was a stark reminder of humanity's vulnerability to disease, even in the midst of a war that seemed to consume the world's attention. It's a story often overshadowed by the war itself but one that deserves to be remembered for its devastating impact. World War I wasn't just fought on battlefields. It was a war of secrets, with espionage playing a crucial role in shaping the course of the conflict. Governments on all sides established elaborate spy networks, recruiting men and women to gather intelligence, sabotage enemy operations, and spread disinformation. Spies used all sorts of clever tactics, from invisible ink and coded messages to disguises and double agents. They infiltrated enemy lines, intercepted communications, and even seduced individuals with access to valuable information. It was a dangerous game, where the stakes were incredibly high and even the smallest mistake could have deadly consequences. 
One of the most famous spies of the war was Mata Hari, an exotic dancer who was accused of spying for Germany and ultimately executed by the French. Whether she was truly a spy or simply caught in the crossfire of war remains a subject of debate to this day. But Mata Hari's story highlights the intrigue and danger that surrounded espionage during World War I. It was a world of shadows and secrets, where the line between truth and deception was often blurred. And it reminds us that wars are won not only on the battlefield, but also in the shadows, where information is power. All right, let's talk about Russia in World War I, because, spoiler alert, it doesn't go well. We're talking about a country already grappling with massive social inequality, poverty, and, let's be real, a whole lot of anger at the ruling Romanov dynasty. Then World War I explodes onto the scene, and Russia, already on shaky ground, is thrust into this massive conflict. The result? It's a recipe for disaster. The war basically exacerbated all of Russia's pre-existing problems. Military defeats led to plummeting morale, food shortages, and economic turmoil. And you can't talk about the Russian Revolution without talking about the Tsar, Nicholas II. He was, to put it mildly, not the best at reading the room. He doubled down on authoritarianism, further alienating the people. By 1917, the writing was on the wall, or, you know, maybe scrawled on a protest sign. Revolution was brewing. The February Revolution kicked off in 1917, toppling the Tsar and establishing a provisional government. But, and this is a big but, the war continued. This was a fatal error, as it allowed the Bolsheviks, led by Lenin, to seize power in the October Revolution, promising peace, land, and bread. And that's how World War I became a catalyst for one of the most significant revolutions in history. Okay, picture this. It's 1914, the First World War has just begun, and suddenly, there's a new sound on the battlefield. Not just the roar of artillery, but a strange buzzing sound. That, my friends, is the sound of war, literally, taking to the skies. At the start of the war, planes were still pretty basic, basically flimsy, wooden things held together with hope and duct tape. They were initially used for reconnaissance, spying on enemy positions and reporting back. But, as you can imagine, it didn't take long for someone to realize, hey, we can chuck stuff at those guys from up here. And thus began the era of aerial combat. We're talking dogfights, daring pilots in open cockpits, facing off with machine guns and bombs. It was dangerous, exhilarating, and frankly, more than a little terrifying. But the impact of aircraft on the war went beyond just those dogfights. Planes became bombers, targeting enemy trenches, supply lines, and even cities. The use of aircraft in World War I changed the face of warfare, literally expanding the battlefield into a third dimension. And it paved the way for the even more significant role air power would play in future conflicts. The Gallipoli Campaign, oh boy, this one's a doozy. It's a story of ambition, miscalculation, and ultimately, devastating loss. In 1915, the Allied powers, looking for a way to break the stalemate on the Western Front, hatched a planned seize control of the Dardanelles Strait. See, the Dardanelles was this strategically vital waterway that connected the Mediterranean Sea to the Black Sea. Control the Dardanelles and you could open up a supply line to Russia, one of the Allied powers struggling on the Eastern Front. It seemed like a good idea, at least on paper. The problem was, the Ottomans, who controlled the Gallipoli Peninsula, weren't just going to hand over the Dardanelles. The Allies, led primarily by British and Anzac, Australian and New Zealand Army Corps forces, launched an amphibious invasion of the peninsula in April 1915. What followed was a brutal, months-long campaign characterized by fierce fighting, disease, and horrific casualties on both sides. The terrain was unforgiving, the Ottoman defenses were surprisingly stubborn, and the whole campaign was plagued by poor planning and communication on the Allied side. The landings were botched, the troops were pinned down on beaches, and the whole thing turned into a bloody stalemate. By the end of the campaign in January 1916, the Allies had suffered heavy losses and failed to achieve their objectives. All right, let's talk about the United States and World War I. The US was firmly neutral at first, Woodrow Wilson even won re-election on the slogan, He Kept Us Out of War. 
But the sinking of the Lusitania in 1915 changed public opinion. Then came the Zimmerman telegram proposing a German-Mexican alliance. On April 6, 1917, the U.S. declared war on Germany. The U.S. brought fresh troops and resources, boosting Allied morale. They also provided crucial financial support. The U.S. entry helped secure an Allied victory and shape the 20th century. World War I dramatically reshaped the Middle East. The Ottoman Empire, though in decline, held sway over much of the region. Its alliance with the Central Powers proved disastrous. British and French forces promised independence to Arab leaders. The collapse of the Ottoman Empire set the stage for a new Middle East. The sykes pico Agreement, a secret pact, complicated matters. It carved up the Ottoman territories into spheres of influence. France controlled Syria and Lebanon, Britain secured Palestine, Transjordan, and Iraq. This division ignored ethnic and religious groups, sowing future conflicts. The war's impact extended beyond geopolitics. The collapse led to displacement and new national identities. Arab nationalism found fertile ground post-war. The struggle for self-determination became a defining feature. The U.S. emerged as a global power. Its involvement in the Middle East grew significantly. The U.S. shaped the region's destiny profoundly. The echoes of World War I resonate today. World War I, the Great War, was supposed to be the war to end all wars. It was a conflict of unprecedented scale and brutality, leaving an indelible mark on the 20th century. The war's legacy is complex and multifaceted, shaping not just the political landscape, but also the social, economic, and cultural fabric of the world. The war shattered empires, redrew national boundaries, and led to the rise of new ideologies. The Treaty of Versailles intended to ensure lasting peace, instead sowed the seeds of resentment and instability, particularly in Germany, setting the stage for future conflicts. But the war's impact extended far beyond geopolitics. It ushered in an era of technological advancement, particularly in warfare, with the development of tanks, airplanes, and chemical weapons. The war also had a profound impact on social norms and gender roles as women took on new responsibilities in the workforce while men were away fighting. The trauma of the war also left a deep psychological scar on an entire generation, leading to a sense of disillusionment and a questioning of traditional values. The horrors of trench warfare, the unprecedented loss of life, and the use of new, terrifying weapons left many questioning the very nature of humanity. The war's legacy continues to shape our world today, a stark reminder of the devastating costs of conflict and the importance of diplomacy and understanding in a globalized world. And that's a wrap on 20 mind-blowing facts about World War I. We've journeyed through time, exploring the trenches, witnessing the dawn of new technologies, and grappling with the war's lasting impact. From the Christmas truce's fleeting moments of humanity to the Treaty of Versailles' flawed attempt at peace, World War I offers a sobering reminder of the human capacity for both compassion and destruction. If you found these historical tidbits as fascinating as I do, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more explorations into the past, present, and future. And if you're hungry for more historical knowledge, hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our latest uploads. Until next time, keep those brain gears turning, and remember, history isn't just about dates and battles. It's about the stories of us.